Hi, we are still writing closure script game in, and in this episode I'm going to make it selectable. So you, uh, you hover on them, you click on them and they become selected like this guy here, right? Um, yeah, so uh, as simple as that. So we start by going to the model, okay? And uh, the first thing we need to do is introducing stacks. So for now, we until now we still uh, we only had sprites. Sprites is just uh, basically a rectangle texture put um, on a graphics canvas, right? At some point we have to start introducing uh, game logic. So stack is the first piece of this game logic. So um, the stack is uh, like a unit uh, placed here with uh, attributes like count and and stuff and stuff. So proper entity, right? In game uh, compo uh, entity component system, it's a proper entity. Sprites, uh, the unit sprite will be attached to it. So yeah, oh, that's it. So entity will have one or more maybe sprites, right? So let's uh, let's introduce uh, the same. So it's going to be called stack, which is uh, like stack of, of units, okay? And the only attribute we are going to have uh, is selected for now. And it's going to be Bula. Also, I'm going to make it singleton. Or maybe we should make the make it unique. Yeah, maybe maybe that. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, there are going to be two attributes: a hover and and select it. So one is when you hover over the unit, it's, it becomes, I don't know, highlighted. Well, yeah, maybe it becomes highlighted as the same as, as here. And the other one is selected, which which is like uh, when, you, when you click on it and it becomes selected. So I, I'm using an identity here, meaning that only one stack uh, could have uh, a value, a particular value, right? So it, in our case, it's two. Uh, well, actually, let me do singleton, which is not the, in the atomic at all, but we have our translation layer, right? So we are going to do singleton tag. Uh, in, the, in this case, we are just going to make it unique. So if if I mark it a singleton, I what I mean semantically. So uh, my, my my concern here is just keeping the semantics. So I want uh, to somehow remember that only one entity in the whole database can have this value, right? Uh, so I mark it as singleton. Actually, yeah, when we mark it as unique, we we know that only one can have a value. Uh, so if we have two entities with the same, that attribute, they have to have different values. So at least it will stop some uh, errors, might stop some errors. But yeah, I, I'm not using the identity here, so I just want to keep the semantics, right? And then we will have probably stack sprite, which is in our case is going to be just a reference for now, right? So it's going to be, yeah, maybe we should call it unit sprite. It's going to be a reference to the hmm, to the sprite. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is uh, good enough, I think. Let, let's see if it works. So we have to reload now when we change the schema or initial database. I didn't. Okay. This is great. Why I didn't? What happened? What just happened? Why, why everything disappeared? This is strange, actually. Mm, yes, it was strange. Okay, whatever. Uh, everything is in, is, is in place. Uh, we go to the main and we remove from the first night here. We have a layer one uh, here, meaning it, it's selected. We don't want that. Not really. Yeah, nothing changes here. And we, we have to start introducing units, okay? So 
in our case it's uh, or sorry stacks stacks in our stack select the true and we are going to give it the layer and yeah and here we're going to have stacks dash uh, slash unit sprite uh, unit sprite just in case it might also have other sprites maybe in the future i don't know okay and um, for others it will be just stack unit sprite like this oh, oops sorry like this you might have noticed and um, even though we're doing that we're basically wrapping every sprite in in a stack structure right it doesn't really mean anything because our rendering system just looks for sprites it doesn't matter where they are defined where they belongs to as a part of anything else or not it doesn't really matter right so it uh, once i save it and reload everything should work as before which is great which is actually what i was going for so i don't have to change anything even though now they are grouped together okay something is wrong again here right. the map literal unit sprite online I messed up somewhere. I messed up here. Yes. Yes, I probably messed up here. Okay, let's see. Okay, the road goes away and we reload to see if new database still works. Yeah, it still works. So um, even though they are part of the of the stack now the rendering still goes directly for the sprites no matter where they are defined okay okay cool and yeah and we still want to to have this layer uh yeah yeah we still want to have this layer okay let's go to the render now and in render we have to do something else so we're going to have well, we're going to have stack here Right, so stack includes sprite, but we also want to include a hover area. And the hover area is going over the sprite, so after this, it comes after the sprite. Sprite hover, right? And we don't need to do anything special for it. Except, so yeah, we need key, we definitely need key, so keys are important in React, so that React doesn't recreate the, the components, we don't want the key to recreate the components. It guarantees us that no matter in which order we re-render, it will always, always just change attributes on a diff, not, not create a new diff. Right, in our case, it's gonna be, let me just, some, uh, Keep the ID here. ID. Actually, we want it as a key. Right, so key. Start key. Hover. So it's a different key, yes. And oh, we have to define two. Oh, we actually have to define more than that. So we have to define. Okay, yeah, let's just define, I don't know. Let's just see if it if it renders. So it's a render, right? Okay, but we have to go to CSS actually and we have to define stack as having position absolute. We want stack to have this so recent high and actually everything like that. So this goes to, well, yeah, maybe like that. Maybe actually we can use key on a stack instead. We have to, right? So, but we can emit the key on its children because they don't really change. So they, the structure is uh, static, static. Well, well, yeah, it's static, yes. Okay, great. Uh, so we have that. 
We have stack, we have sprite inside, which is going to have actually sprite is going to have full width and high. I'm not sure if I can do that. I hope I can do that. Um, this something is wrong here. Oh, I, I need to close this. And okay, let me just rename this back to ID. So this, and we have hover, hover right? Uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it was actually quite nice. Okay, so uh, now if we highlight, so sprites uh, are in place. Let me see if if stack is in place as well. So what I want to do is. Okay, so hmm. so I want hover. Okay, let me just uh, make it black with I don't know. Okay, let me make it black with uh, I don't know twenty five percent of us, right? So uh, this we need this just to be able to see where the hover actually is or area actually is. Okay, great. Um, now we have to define its width and height. So width is going to be 28 pixels. It, it's the size of a single field. Well, height actually is going to be 28 as well. Okay, so it's uh, one, uh, one uh, I don't know, tile, right? Okay, great. So now this is placed somewhere in a strange place. Okay, let me go to this. So we have stack here, right? So we have sprite. Okay, so this is confusing. Let me open it like this. Okay, so we have stack. Wait, what? Okay, let's uh, let's start with this stack. So we have stack. We have sprite. The sprite that covers uh, the fullness of the stack. And this one should actually be position absolute as well. Okay. Yes. Yes, and it needs top. Actually, it's gonna be bottom zero, left. Okay, let's left fifty percent. Yes. Now, it, now it's strange. Why? Why isn't it anywhere? Because I, I misspelled the V's. Okay, so but the fifty percent is wrong, obviously. Um, yeah, we have to make the fifty percent minus fourteen, right? So it's gonna be count fifty percent minus fourteen pixels. Yes, like that. All right, great. So it more or less now. Oh, yeah, I I forgot. So um, bottom is actually not zero. It's actually ten pixels. Great. So now. Okay, let me make it, let me give it border. Well, the border will be one pixel solid red, for example, so I, I can see the borders as well. Okay, great. So, yeah, it more or less corresponds to where sprites are at, right? So there's a little bit over it, but it's fine. We don't want uh, to cover the, the whole of the sprite. Okay, great. So the hours are in place and they are aligned for any size of sprite actually, uh, but they are of the fixed size uh, themselves. Uh, this is great. Okay, great. Uh, now, what we do now? What do we do now? Uh, what we have to do now is, yeah, we, we should implement hover, right? So, yeah, on mouse, uh, we, we have to implement uh, callbacks on mouse hover and on mouse, no, sorry, which one? On mouse over and on mouse, oh, I forgot, mouse over. And what's, what's the second one? <laughs> I forgot that, what, what's the other one? Sorry, mouse enter, mouse over, yeah. On mouse enter and on mouse over. 
Yes. Um, yeah, and this is going to be a function. This is going to be a function. Yeah, what do we do? Right. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to transact. Okay. Let me just make it so this is a band, but we don't really care about the band. There is a band as well. I can as well just ignore it. But we have to have a function with one argument here. Okay, so on enter we we transact. Okay. Yeah, we transact. Hmm. Let me be quick. Transact model db, right? db add. So this um, entity sprite, well sprite, yes. This sprite has id, but what we need is stack. So the stack is going to be at let me just add stack. Stack is going to be at sprite as this attribute, but there might be multiple stacks, so it's just first like this. Actually, we could mark stack as a as a component. This component, a component, yes. So the sprite is wait what? Uh, yeah, probably uh, here component. And then we don't have to do first, I, I believe. So marking this as a component means that when we delete stack, we also delete sprite, which is fine by me. Yeah, that, that uh, it, it's expected. And it also means that sprite can be, uh, they, can, they can be only, the sprite can belong only to one stack. It, it, well, it can belong to multiple stacks, actually. And uh, there is no strict validation for that, but Semantically, it means that, and uh, when doing backwards lookup, you get not a collection of uh, stacks, but a single stack. Okay, so we have stack here, and what we have to do is let's write a helper function, uh, shall we? Def change. Oh, yeah, uh, hover, right? And we accept LDB and stack ID, right? So we're going to call a function that retracts the current stack. DB, uh, sorry, DS, transact DB. And in our transaction, we are going to retract the current stack. So the current stack is It's going to be ds datums value of db uh, vt stack hover draw right the hover draw well, whatever and this is going we, we need first only uh, yeah but actually there is uh, also thing that I I like to have a function function called single, which does what first does, but semantically it means we expect a single element. Just do that. Core single. Yes, and this is hover. Uh, it's a datum, right? So uh, what we'll have to do is db retract. Mm, db retract hover. Uh, yeah. So it's gonna be e of hover. Uh, stack hover true. So this is the datum we want to retract. This is the atom we want to add. So there is there goes stack ID. 
Yes. All right. Okay. So. Hmm. Yeah. Something like that. Well, well, maybe I also need so the same as we have entity here. Well, maybe I should the entity um, db e or single t datums db ilt um, after right so something like that yes a singleton which uh, we are going to use here forward is model singleton uh, db and stack hover Here we are actually going to concat when sum if something is covered right now, right? So we're going to retract that, and uh, no matter if something is covered or not, we are going to add this one. Um, yeah, and here we should use dbid because this is an entity now. Hover at, right? And also what we're going to retract is, well, yeah, this is getting tricky, but um, basically we're going to retract uh, stack unit sprite forward. Sprite. What we have sprite slash layers sprite sprite layers we're going to retract the layer one if it exists right so if it already has a layer one we're going to retract it and we're going to add a layer one right so um so the stack id what we need here is uh, the pid of stack unit sprites so we have to go from stack to the unit uh, to do that we have to let's let's say we have db here as well somehow we have db here we have sprite let's have sprite here as well All right so the entity db stack id Okay, sprite, sprite layers one. Okay, so we want to add this, the BID sprite, yes. Add something like that, like that. So when we hover, we want to retract if there is something, and then, well, actually, yeah, but yeah, this is good, this is good, and we want to transact that. When we hover, we just call the hover, right? So it would be crazy to to do that model db and we need dbid stack we can actually pass the whole stack we don't have to, to call dbid so this will be stack um, then this will be stack right so then and this will be dbid stack okay. so we already have stack right so we have that and we hover. So if I run this now and if it works, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. I will, when I hover over a unit, it will uh, turn selected, but we, it will not unturn selected. Uh, it doesn't work. Yeah, great. Uh, let me see why it doesn't it work. Okay, let me go to the console. So D is not defined. Great. Okay, of course, because I, I used to use D namespace for the data script. Now I use DS because then I can use Datomic as D and data script as DS. Uh, but I am not totally used to it, so sometimes I make a mistake here or there. 
Let's see if it works now. It doesn't work. Right? Oh no, it works. Fine. Oh, it works. Yeah, it actually works. And it actually unhowers, but uh, it feels like it's on a different target almost. A different target. Why? Why is it? Let me style CSS. Right. Let's do this. Hover and the change background to be I don't know much lighter like this. Yes. So now I'm covering it. Now I'm not. Huh. So it's probably because of sprites, right? Because sprites, uh, this sprite overlays this horror. Which means that maybe we have to render hover areas separately after everything else is done okay yeah that well that's unfortunate because uh, hmm. let's, let's let's give them that index maybe that will help yeah that seems to help uh, so they're on top now and yeah this is working great um yeah Okay, this is great, but I don't handle selected actually. So selected is the second thing that I I want to do. Um, but at least this works, right? It, it works. I'm not sure. It feels like there is no delay, right? It, it feels like there is no delay. This is great. Now let me change also cursor to a pointer. Which means this, uh, in web it means this object is interactable. Uh -huh. Yeah, great. And uh, maybe I will do something else instead, but but whatever. For now, this is good. Okay. Now we have to uh, make them selectable, which is will also works through the hover area, right? So, but we will have to do. Oh, well, no, wait, wait a second. So uh, right now, if I move over away. Uh, it doesn't unselect it. Uh, so this is a problem. Let's call it unhover db and so oh, maybe stack as well. And we're going to transact this first. Okay. Uh, this goes here when some turn, oops, transact. Okay, so now if uh, this is, yeah, if something is hovered, we transact it and we unhover it, right? And basically hover is actually two-step game. We first unhover. Well, no, uh, this is a little bit different. Well, yeah, and this is fine actually. So we want to uncover a specific stack, which is fine. Okay, so to do that, when yeah, we want to do that, start DP like this. Huh? Yeah, but I still need. First do that, then we do that, which means we don't need concat anymore. And and here when uh, stack Howard, only if our current stack is Howard, we, we we remove that part. Yes. Okay. So this should be this should work sort of. Let's see if it actually works. So it reloads. No, it doesn't work, right? Something isn't working. Let me reload the page. Hmm. 
let's see in the console maybe oops, maybe something is yeah something uh, cannot add new because we haven't removed the old one this is strange because This is strange. Oh, because it's uh, Howard. Howard. So you saw here there that uh, we have unique constraint that prevented us from uh, making two units uh, Howard in the same time, which which it was kind of an, an idea of using that singleton thing. Okay, they seem to, to work, right? So now we have to make a select a selection. Okay, so uh, select, select, select. It's more or less the same. So I called it Howard, but selected. I should rename it to Howard, actually. Yes. This. Okay, so in this case, selected. In our case, we still need this. So when selected, we retract. Right, the only problem here would be the interaction between the hover and selection. Uh, but we'll address that in a second. Let me first try this one. So we use use hover here. No. Oh yeah, used. So I should replace this. So in one transaction we remove the selected, we remove the retract, yes, and this one we don't need that. We have sprite, select, like this. Okay, let's see if I put on click here, on click here, and select. Um, let's see what, what happens. Change the schema so I have to reload. Okay, let's see. So this works. Clicking does nothing, really. Okay, so selected because of unique constraint. I thought I saw that. I thought. When some selected. We retract that, right? Oh, yeah, because I, I have to use selected here, not stack. Okay. Uh, let's see. So you saw that selection kind of worked. Yes. Yeah, but, uh, wait, wait. Something is not right. Actually, because we uh, do mouse leave, well, this, this mouse center, right? And this is mouse leave. On mouse leave, we should uh, unhover it, but we don't. This is strange. And this has something to do with selection. No, it actually doesn't. Okay. Maybe it's mouse enter and mouse out. Yes, something like that. Mouse leave. Mouse leave. Yeah, it's mouse leave. Uh, it's been a long time since I worked with DOM, so yeah, I kind of forgot. Yeah, nice. So now it works. Now, now it works every time. Great. And uh, so, and selection, right? So we select. So now it's selected. We mouse out and uh, selection disappears, right? So selection must persist. Okay. Um, the way to address that is uh, well, well, the way to address that is to when stack Howard 
and stack is covered and it's not selected. And stack selected. Stack. Only if that. Well, yeah. Well, no, not really. Again, we need to concat here, so we need to run multiple transactions. When not. Only if the stack is not selected, we want this part as well. Okay. Yes, save. So now uh, this one is selected. Oh, it doesn't, work. So it doesn't seem to work. Okay. Um, we enter, we leave. Yeah, great. So we enter this, one, this guy, we click, select some changes, we mouse leave, and it stays, right? So we click here, if we click here. So now we see who is selected. This is great. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Okay, let me. But what did I want actually? Oh, I I actually wanted to to have. So here I'm using like bottom ten. I actually want to use bottom zero, and use height of. So we spread ten pixels up, right? And. Um, Yeah, so the idea here is these zones overlap a little bit, right? But uh, the top ones goes uh, later. So the idea is if I am somewhere in here and there is a unit, I should uh, treat it as hover over this unit, right? But if there is no unit, I should treat it as hover over this unit. So let's move the zombie left one, one pixel. So this is uh, probably third zombie, right? that right so and we need to move it left uh, by 28 pixels so 185 like this and we have to reload because initial state only populates on the start right okay great so this zombie now is on the left and you can see if i hover over square or anywhere here i hover over this zombie right so because if i hover yeah i want it to be selected as well Right? But here, if I am here, I can select this guy because they overlap and this comes later. I hope it comes later. So we also need to guarantee that this always comes after that. So bottom ones always come after the top ones. To do that, we need to sort how we render our sprites. So if you go here and see, I don't know. Um, Yes, so we take sprites, actually all entities, right? We do not sort them, we want to sort them. Yeah, but first let me let me do some minor adjustments. So this should go to model, right? This is manipulations over model. So this should go here. We also shouldn't be using shouldn't be passing DB probably in here, explicitly at least, so because mod, uh, DB model already knows where DB is. So we can go here. We change that right, like this, okay? Hover. Yeah, and we change this to model. Like this. And in model, there is something else like singleton. We have to get rid of that and hover, transact, spec, sprite, and everything else seems fine. Let's see. Oh no, it's still. Uh, and still, I still pass the uh, DV to on hover. Um, where, where do I do that? Here. Great. Uh, we don't need deselect, I think. I, I, I don't intend to deselect at least. Okay, let's reload and see what, what happens. If it still works or not. It still seems to work. It has slight delay, right? You can see there's slight delay when I do it really quick i don't know why why is there a delay um, we seem to be missing the the next frames it's strange as long as we change the database we should immediately request next frame and render it okay whatever 
So it's like this guy, this guy, okay. Yeah, whatever. So uh, now uh, the thing that we have to do is we have to sort the sprites as we get, uh, we have them here, right? Uh, the sprites are, the sprites has position. Oh, we actually use position here. Wait, what? We use position here. It means it tries to, hmm. Let me let me check real quick. So I have REPL here. So let me do require this. What? Uh, let me do require this again. So now I have pods, right? So like one, two. What will happen if I compare pods one, two, and one, two? I cannot compare. Why? Wow. Well, Oh, wait, yeah, this is fine. I'm using a EVT index, so it actually orders uh, in entity order, not the value order. So, yeah, my mistake. Okay, uh, this is fine. This is fine as long as we have our, our units here, entities here, order. So, let's say I switch order of these two knights so that this comes first and this comes second, right? So, this is literally the first two knights. This one and this one. So if I move it here, it will be assigned a different entity. So this entity ID will be smaller than this one. So, so it only worked because I listed them in initial transaction in the correct order. Now I change that order, and we should see that uh, these uh, hover divs overlap in an uh, incorrect way. Yeah, you can see it here, right? So. Uh, when I'm hovering here, uh, I should be selecting this unit because it's its head, right? But I'm instead selecting this one because this one is on top. Okay, so um, to fix that, we actually need to... Sorry, we need to um, go to the position where it is yeah, and implement comparable. So what we have to do is comparable. And let's compare, compare this and other, and compare it's really simple. If we we'll first compare by y, and then we compare by x, right? So if uh, equals y uh, y from other we return minus x x other otherwise we return minus y y other so this is our comparable function let's see if it um, is applied yeah now it returns correctly so now this one is smaller, which is fine. But if you change, uh, sorry, this one for one, yeah, no. So it first compares compares by y coordinate and then by x. So we render top to bottom, then left to right. This, is, this seems seems this seems reasonable. Okay. Um, yeah, and what we have to do here is actually we have to go to the we have to go here. And we have to sort by, and sort by will be. Wait, I always forget about the sort by and sort by key or something like that. Sort by. Yeah, you, you pass key fan. Yeah, this is this is fine. Uh, this is exactly what we need. So we sort by position. Yes, we pass key here, and the keys will be compared. Right? Let's see if that compiles. Compiles. Let's see if it works for us. Yeah, it works. So now when I hover over this, let's select somebody else. So, uh, even though the order in which I listed these units is incorrect, it actually renders them in the correct order, so overlaps uh, works correctly, right? And it also matters because when, if I, for some reason, I have a unit that is 
higher very very tall for example right so it overlaps with this unit it will be rendered on top of it as well right great so uh, this is great uh, this is great i have to remove this this overlay here i think and the border as well right pointer stays uh, let's see okay so now it more or less what is this um, like, yeah. oh it works nice i think yeah i, I think i still I'll just keep it like that so it's a little bit confusing if you have your cursor over somebody and some one is selected and another one is uh, hovered, so you don't we can tell which one, but I think it's it's not that important. So usually, if you want to see somebody, you just hover over it. And so the other solution would be maybe um, to do something like this. Okay, let me let me try this one as well. So we have sprite sprite hover. Oh no, uh, sprite. No, oh, actually it's tag. Forward. So when it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, sprite, yeah, like this. So uh, in this case, we can, for example, well, turn opacity to 0 0.9, and then we would have to actually pass a class here uh, when stack hover red. Stack. We have stack here, right? So the class will be stack hovered. Yes. So load. I don't see that. Maybe I should make one like this. Okay, yeah. So now it's more, it's different, right? So, hmm. Maybe actually I could just Tag position absolute. Maybe I should. Okay, so this is just a stylistic choice. Okay. So now it jumps the top. Maybe I don't need this. Uh, I still, I still, I still, still think that I will leave this one. Okay, so we don't need that. I guess for now, this works. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. That's it. We have our selection. We have our hovers, and yeah, it seems to work quite nicely. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for next episodes. Bye-bye.